Okay, you guys, I'm just going to show you what I'm going to be working with today. Um, one of my absolute favorite stampers, which is the Magno Stamper. Got this at a group buy. Just my um, Coenette stampers. I'm going to use those. Uh, I got this at Sally Beauty Supply, just a cleanup brush. And this is also um, from Sally Beauty Supply. And it's a dotting tool at the end. And then um, a thinner brush in the other end. What I have on today, and I do realize that my hands are extra dry because I'm getting ready to stamp on them. It is um, Color Club. Um, Color Club in Beyond. And Color Club in Cosmic Fate. I'm sorry about having the TV on the background, but I'm watching The Voice, and so I'm multitasking. And that is the color. This is um, one of my favorite collections from Color Club. I think it's the collection of Halo Hues 2013. That is what is on Pinky the Ring. And here, um, I did it like that because I just want to see the end results. I got this beauty in the mail today and when I saw it, I hope I'm not blinding you, and when I saw it, I had to have it. I've never done a water marble, but I want to. This is the plate that does water marbling. Um, the stamping plate that does water marbling. So I'll probably put a swatch at the end. It came like this. Alright, this is what the front looks like. I, I'm sorry if I'm blinding you. Um, it's pretty sturdy. That's what the back looks like. And I'm always doing this upside down. There it is, you guys. Isn't that just absolutely gorgeous? I'm going to clean it. I'm going to be using Color Club, Miss Bliss. Color Club, Kismet. Color Club, Over the Moon. And eternal beauty so I don't even know where to start you guys Here are the colors all right you guys here we go oh, that looks so pretty let's see Oh, that's super soft. You can't see it, but it definitely picked up on the nail, so. Bummer. Maybe I'll try black. I may have to try black. Let's keep going. Hopefully... Hopefully it will show up over black. Isn't that pretty, you guys? So it shows up a little better. Shows up a little better over black. Oh, so pretty. Up really pretty. Oh, 
Oh crap. to show you guys how gorgeous that is yeah it's too light for this nail <clears throat> do the swirl picked up yeah so you guys can see the difference there definitely shows up on the black but not on the neutral color all right I decided to give it a go again with the colors that might show up that showed up. I should have cleaned my stamper but yeah I'm struggling with that. That color was too light. showing up. I'm going to try the swirl on my other hand. On black, no problem. Oops. There we go. Oh, so beautiful. So beautiful. All right. I don't know why I'm whispering. The yellow in the middle this time. Oh, how gorgeous is that? Gorgeous. All right. Oh, and this nail is not long enough. Or at least as long as, as long as I would have wanted it to be. Look at that. Gorgeous. And hmm, I'll do this one. I got fuzzies on my nail. Stamping on it. I messed up the pickup there. 
that was completely me. I slipped. But we already know which side works, the black side. So we'll just stamp the bad part on that one. Oh, you guys. So pretty. Hey guys, this is edged so deeply that I'm getting fuzzies all over me because of the plate. Um, so I'm gonna try black now. Oh, this is getting stuck there. I hope you guys saw that, that it was getting stuck there. Since this is etched deeply, it should give me time to do a little bit of cleanup. Okay. Better. What happens if I do it this way? Yep, it gets stuck right there on that groove. It's not bad at all. Um, oh, that's awesome. That's awesome, you guys. I didn't put enough, but that's okay because I'm only going to be using a little bit of it. I didn't pick that up nicely. Much better. I'm sorry, I'm out of frame, you guys. I'm just, um... I hope I did that right. I'm just doing this upside down. Dang it, I missed right there. Oh well. I tried. I'm looking that I like these smaller images. I haven't tried this one, so. Oh, I smudged it a little bit, but let's see. I don't, I don't, I don't want to get the part that's smudged. I think I messed up. Yep, I messed up. All right, guys. Here is the finished Manny. I hope you're getting all the glory from it. That is the double stamped side by side. Here is the other hand. I like how these two came out. I like that design. Here is the bling. Hopefully you're seeing it nicely. I did the same thing on that side. And here they are. I'm sorry if I have any fuzzies. It was really hard to clean the plate because it's so um, etched deeply. So I kind of got fuzzies all over the place. I'm sorry about that. I tried to take them off as much as I could. But what do you guys think? Isn't that stunning? Absolutely stunning. And here you can see the yellow. And I think tip of the the tip here was the yellow, and I just ended up going with black on those. So I'll try to take some pictures, and I'm gonna swatch the plates more. So if you want to see the swatches, keep watching. All right, so here I am swatching it on black. my stamper I 
could have done a better job. I'm just super heavy handed. There's that swatch. playing with it I don't know if you can see it but it's etched that when I clean it there's um, and this is the lint free side of the wiper that I use there's cotton stuck there 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 and there um, these are the swatches that I got this is one of my favorite images this is the other one of my favorite images. I like this image and I like this image. I did not like the swirly one. And this one is okay. The two bigger ones I liked. Those are that's the one that I'm having now on the pointer finger. Um on this one and on these two. I also did it over green. That was a mixture of them, of the colors. And this was the lighter color in Princess Sabra. Well, all in all, there's only these two images that I don't particularly care. I loved these two in that one. And like I said, that one's okay. So if you're okay with, I don't know, maybe you might like the image. It's just personal preference that I might not like it. There's definitely a learning curve with the way that you scrape. Uh, this one you have to do sideways because if you do it up and down, you get stuck right here, right on that line. And that happened a couple of times with these. So you're going to have to figure out which way you like to scrape, which way is best for you. And... Um, I'm gonna keep playing with this. Here's Manny. Alright, thanks for watching.